And here we go. It is floored, totally floored. Oh, it, it has a lag, interesting. One of these is a 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus. The other is a brand new 2023 Tesla Model 3 base model with that brand new LFP battery. So what are my initial thoughts and impressions on the new one and comparing it to the old one? So looking at them side by side, I mean, you're never gonna know. I think the trained eye and the longtime viewer of the channel is gonna know the difference between these two cars, but they basically are the same look and feel on the outside. We are looking at a 2023 Tesla Model 3 base model here on the left. That's the blue one. And then on the right is the 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus. Essentially the same trim levels from different years. Of course, I've got the sport wheels on mine. Uh, he has the 18 inch uh, aero wheels. He took the covers off because it does look better. And he put uh, the caps on here. So, um, you know, just side by side, obviously the black trim comes standard. Uh, mine, I had to do a chrome delete but uh, if you look at them side by side, they pretty much look the same now. Because I did the chrome delete, most people would never know the difference from the outside. Taking a look at the back here, obviously I added a spoiler. They do not come that way except uh, the performance model and mine is not a performance model. Like I said, these are both base models. And uh, looking at them side by side, again, pretty much the same. Pretty sure the, uh, the blue one has the better headlights. I don't know if they're Matrix or not, but I think they are upgraded from, from the 2019s. Let's take a look real quick. They are definitely different. He has, um, so if you look at my headlight here on the 2019 and then compare it to the 2023, there's definitely some, some subtle differences there. The trunk is actually upgraded. Mine does not have the automatic feature. So mine does not do that. I have to lift it up manually. But in terms of size and all that stuff, that's gonna be the same. And of course, mine doesn't have this to bring it back down. My Model Y does, of course, but that's a completely different car. So that's kind of cool. But generally speaking, on the outside of these cars, not too much difference. All right, let's hop in this thing, take it for a quick drive, and I'll give you my initial thoughts and impressions on the differences. Oh, here's a difference right here. Dual pane glass. My 19 does not have dual pane glass. Obviously we discussed the wood. We discussed the trunk. It's got the automatic trunk and stuff like that. It's got the upgraded uh, center console. So again, comfiness, it um, definitely feels new. So that means the seats do wear a little bit during uh, the aging process and the using process. I don't believe my car has the uh, label here on the door, which is kind of cool. I know my Model Y does, but that's a newer one. Also, this is not glossy. This is matte, which is nice. No glossy in the center either. So that's kind of cool. Still got the weird uh, brushed nickel trim around the wood. I personally would cover that up with something. All right, so let's get the seatbelt on and get going. I could tell you right away the uh, accelerator pedal seems tighter, not as loose. So that's interesting to note. So we're gonna do a quick drive and see exactly how this feels. I can tell you right now it feels tighter, but that makes sense, it's brand new. It's only a couple months old. And here we go. All right, so smoother acceleration. I will put the competing stats down below. I believe my 19 actually has a faster zero to 60. But this one clearly has a longer range. I think it's in the 260 uh, range and mine uh, brand new was 240. Clearly I'm not getting that anymore. Do a quick launch. Yeah, you know what? Mine feels faster. Now again, that could be the pedal mapping or the tightness of the the accelerator, I'm not quite sure, but mine does feel slightly faster. It definitely feels newer. Obviously it <laughs> smells newer and that's part of the experience for sure. And the nice thing is because my profile is on here, let me just check and make sure that, yeah, my profile is on here from my three and Y. My experience should be 
at least somewhat similar in terms of, you know, where my seat is, where my seat belt is, or my uh, steering wheel is. Those sorts of things should all be the same. So that shouldn't affect my, or skew my judging here. So yeah, it doesn't feel that much different to drive, which I kind of expected. Now you get into a, a new Y, and yeah, that's a different experience. That's a completely different, even though the feel of everything, you know, the user interface and the screen and the steering wheel and the pedals and all that stuff are similar enough, the Y, because it sits up higher, definitely has a different driving experience than a three. But these two threes, I just got out of my other one, my 19, after a half hour of driving. What's going to be interesting is getting back into it after driving the new one. I'll, of course, record video of that. That'll be next and see how they compare that way. It might feel old. It might just feel old. But right now, the experience is pretty similar. I love when I'm doing videos and another Tesla shows up. There's a Y. Very cool. I'm going to try to do a launch from from flat. Right now I'm going a little uphill, I can tell. That's one thing they should add to the the nav, is they should add an elevation. It shouldn't be too hard to do. I mean, they got all these maps and stuff. It should be like from sea level and all that data is out there. It should be, should be pretty easy to do. Obviously this is going to feel newer. Obviously it's going to feel tighter. It's just going to have that newness about it. Where everything is at feels similar, where the steering wheel and all that, it just feels even the deceleration feels the same. This is still uphill. I've got a car there. Doing a little launch here, but I don't know. I think it's slightly slower, and I'm going to have to check the specs. It does feel slightly slower. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I'm just trying to, in my head, justify that my older one is... <laughs> is faster. All right, so from the stop sign, it's relatively flat. There's a little bump here and then a downhill. I just kind of want to feel, I know what mine feels like. I want to feel what this new one feels like. Here we go. From a stop, and here we go. It is floored. Totally floored. Oh, it, it has a lag. Interesting. There was a lag up until about 35, and then there was like an afterburner that kicked in. That was weird. I don't experience that in mine certainly something different there. Not sure what that was. Oh, another thing I could tell you, the turn signals feel way more solid. Mine are creaky and plasticky and have a weird crunching sound <laughs> when you do a, a turn signal, so that's kind of cool. I think I remember the same in my Y, though. All right, there is my initial impressions driving the 2023 Tesla Model 3 base model. Now I'm going to hop into my car and see how they compare real quick. Do a little door test. I always like to check the doors here. Here we go. Yeah, I think it sounds similar. Maybe a little less rattly. I mean, obviously it's new. I should check the odometer real quick. I think it's got less than 3,000 on it still. Check that out. 2169. My dad hasn't driven it that much. All right, I just hopped out of the new one. Let's hop into mine. You guys know this car if you're a longtime viewer. Many, many road trips with this car. Let's turn the music down get back in pedal on it it feels pretty similar actually now that i'm in my seat i don't know it feels pretty similar all right here we go this is in the 19 tesla model 3 sr plus right, let's see how it feels compared to the new one yeah so my my accelerator pedal is definitely more responsive so that's interesting now i don't know if that's loose from age or wear or what or if it's just mapped differently but my profile is identical so that shouldn't be have any factor but i can tell you the accelerator like you barely touch it and it's it's going whereas the other one you had to, to you had to work a little bit to get that thing to move a little bit i'm almost positive i'm gonna check the specs i'll throw the specs down below but i'm pretty sure my 19 is slightly faster zero to 60. I mean, it's ever so slight. So there's a little more roll in the turns. That's interesting. It's tighter on the uh, 23, kind of expected. I mean, these cars, my car has 53,000 on it. Is it right? 53? Let's check the software. 52,399. 
So yeah, there's some definite age differences, but overall the experience feels the same. Uh, seating, steering, that sort of thing. All in all, I think my 19 is aging pretty well. I mean, if you compare the two cars, which I'm trying to do here in this video is, what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Have you noticed recently in, in some one of the software updates, it's gotten even way more sensitive on uh, upcoming objects? I don't have a full self-drive. I just have the regular uh, autopilot, but man, it just seems like it's overly sensitive. All right, so let's accelerate here. Yeah, see mine has full acceleration immediately, whereas I noticed on the 23, like I said, there was a weird lag up until about 30 miles an hour, and then it really kicked in, like the afterburners really kicked in. I, I don't, obviously my Model Y is a performance, I don't notice it on that. That thing just goes and goes fast and quick, and it's just a cr crazy difference between even my car and the Model Y performance. But the difference between the two threes, I don't know what's going on there, but there seems to be a, a lag, because I put the pedal to the floor on the 23, and it really didn't get going until about the 30 mile an hour mark, which is weird. So there you go. Those are my initial impressions and thoughts on the 2023 Tesla Model 3 base model compared with the 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus. There are some differences. So if you're buying a used one, rest assured you're getting a decent vehicle. But if you're getting a new one, you got a few things to brag about. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button on this video as well as the subscribe button. It means the world to the channel. It takes just seconds out of your day. And we thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.